What is your opinion? You can see on his back where uh, visually vertebrae are out of alignment. So my guess is that this begins here and then extends back uh, through the SI. The other question that we're going to be wondering about is if that's coming from an imbalance in his hock, stifle, ankle, and a hind leg. But so we're going to want to check his back and then we're going to want to check his joints and, separately. And both sides. Yes. Okay. Just move down. Are you on this side still? Yes. Okay. You do the left side first. That's past the SI. Okay, so the left side appears to be clear. That is, the proprioceptors are speaking to the central nervous system on the left side. Let's try the right. Okay. Okay, we have a pronounced weakness there. Okay, and let's go a little further. Very pronounced there. It looks awesome. like the last three vertebrae and the top of the SI on the right side. You notice that weakness? Wow, yeah. yes. All right, so we know that. So let's, uh, let's reset this horse. To reset, we will clip a device to the top of his head between his ears. And you can just simply rub along the whole those area, restricted vertebrae. Make sure you go over the SI joint. And what's the length of time to spend going over these? A human being, I, I, I usually, it only takes about two seconds. Um, so I would give it five or ten seconds over the air on a large animal. And so what is happening is that because these devices all resonate with one another, they send a signal through the proprioceptors of the joint to the motor cortex and um, reset the connectivity of the proprioceptors, which would mean that uh, the muscles should respond better after the joints are function, uh, become reset and function better. All right, let's So uh, they can retest. talk to each other. That's right, so they talk, yeah. Let's reset. Let's retest. All right. So we took the clip Same off the. the yes, yeah, the clip has to, has to stay on the conception vessel for, for testing. Should I but start? the clip that was on governing vessel got taken away. That's right. Okay. Should I start where it was weak? Yes. Or, or one back, whatever. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This horse is reset, no question. So we can test now the muscles coming off of that side. It, it may be that the muscle spindles aren't responding. Even though we've reset the joint, we, sometimes there's dormant muscle spindles. And to do that, we take a, another clip and place this clip really low and between his eyes, right? So that engages diagnosis of potential muscle issues. All right, so let's course the muscles on the other side, all right? Am I just moving in the same pattern, or? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. What if we turn the horse so that the video is catching her as well as you're testing at me? Yes. That's so awesome. they can see what she's doing. Okay. 
Okay. Just let's see if there's if there's are, are any muscles that that need to be that need to be assessed here. Do that again, please. This last one. Go more onto the belly, the muscle to that one, and go up, a little up. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's fine. Now let's go through this area right here. Just move this area. Okay. Beautiful. Right. The, the nervous, the proprioceptors, or the muscle spindle fibers. I'm not firing there. Sorry, it's very weak on that spot. All right. So, uh, similar treatment. Um, if you, uh, yeah, that's good. So I'll hold this now up here and so just go over the entire muscle. Reconnect Sarah. And, and you can course over that muscle, and I think you'll find that everywhere you touched causes a reset. Can we All try right. this one back here? Sure. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Would this muscle group be significant to this vertebral? Very much fall? so. Okay. Yep. That's fine. The other thing, though, is I really would like to check his stifle, clock, and ankle. Sure. Let's do it. So the positioning of the clip has to change because we're not testing the muscles now. No, we're testing joints. We're testing joints. And uh, outside, now, outside or right on it? I would just go right over it like that. Okay. So, and I, I should defer to you. Does it? This is like testing the knee. Does yes. it matter if you're in front or on the yeah. side? With human beings, it's lateral tests better. Okay. So, so each I'm side of the here. joint. So we'll test here and then other side. Yeah. What you want to be is here and there. Okay. Okay. Here you go more forward. All right. Nothing. How can you test the front, sir? Like here, here. Uh, the hawk, I would go, yep, and then around the side there. There are three layers of the hawk, but that will give you a, a general sense of if the joint is impaired. Yes. Whoa. Other side? Sure. So it's the outside of the hawk? So <laughs> in a uh, human being, that generally means that the, um, the, the, the ligaments with the uh, proprioceptors that uh, signal the brain are not connected as well as they should be, and therefore the su support muscles to that area are not working as well as they should. So you're at that area right there, extremely, extremely weak. Right, so I'll take a, I can take the conception vessel clip if I want to, and just uh, hold it on the top of his head while you rub, okay? And if you feel you want to do the inside as well, it doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're not going to hurt a horse by overly stimulating. You're just resetting it. Again. Okay, I'm just going to put the conception vessel so clip back. From a veterinary training standpoint, this is a very common area that we find trouble in dressage horses. Horses develop a little bit of arthritis in the hock joint. So the follow-up I would do with this would be x-rays and examination of the joint as well. 
And this will be interesting to see if we can help him in this moment. All right. Let's try it again and see if he's being reset. Yes. And Sarah's totally different feeling. Yeah. You want to keep going? Yeah, that's that lock. With that, we probably both. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both sides. Good. Shall we check the other pocket? We should do the other. Yeah. Um, you can do it from the side, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you can just move to the side. Move the fence or do it from no, the side? No, oh, do ahead. it like. Yeah, just do it from the other side. You want to check his stifle? Yeah, sure. I will have to. I'll just go around here. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay, keep going. Nothing. 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 Okay. Great. So shall we walk him away and trot him? You, know, you mentioned earlier that often there's a, 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 a neck problem or an atlas problem. So we yeah, often what's that. going on in the hip will be reflected in the neck. So let's or, let's check the atlas. Okay. Shall we? All right, so let's get the horse in a position. That's the right side, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go down the neck a little bit? Just a few. Because it, it appeared to be L3 Side, yeah. Let's uh, get the camera on the other side. Maybe I have to be here soon. Okay, so just to the top two or three over there. Simply take the conception vessel and you can So we could either clip that to his forelock, or if you have someone tall enough, they can hold it there. That's right. <laughs> Because to diagnose, we have to have that conception vessel clip in place. So let's test our surrogate again. It's clear. Good. Well, it says thank you. <laughs> so, do you want to uh, visually assess him? Sure, I'd love to have a comparison, have a more.